Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty in chapter twenty six. Chapter twenty six is about DC circuits. So we look at these systems. We need to calculate the current through each resistor, right? If each resistance R is one point two ohms and the voltage is twelve volts. So now how can we do that? So simple. So it looks like at the very initial, we need to determine the equivalent resistance. For the external resistors, right? So we look at the very end. R one and R two is a series connection, so we can get R one two as R one plus R two, right? So we replace R one and R two with R one two at there, and then we can say R one two and R three is a parallel connection. Agree? So now we can get the Resistance for this uh, parallel connection as R one two three in this uh, function. It is a uh, two R over three, right? And then this uh, R one two and R three can be replaced as R one two three there. Now we can see resistance R one two three and R four is a series connection. So we can replace it with R one two three four. Add them together, you get it as a five R over three. Now you can see from A to C, you can see this there the resistance is for the parallel connection R one two three four parallel connection with R five. Agree? So the equiv equivalent resistance is R one two three four five equal in this function. You can do calculation, get it as five R over eight. So replace them is R one two three four five. Now finally, we can see the total equivalent resistance is used the R one two three four five plus R six. This is thirteen R over eight. Uh huh. Now you can see we get the equivalent resistance for this circuit. So next step, we can get the current in the for total, right? So now how can we do that? So we can see. In this case, we get all the resistance we listed there for each cases, right? So now you can see, um, we need to do the calculation for total and I six. This is in the main branches, so right I six. This is in main branches, should be equal to I one two three four five, right? This one, this current. This uh, there, this I six should equal to I one two three four five. Just use the epsilon divided by the R equivalent. Agree? Yes. So we list it there, and then in there you can see this I six is given. So we keep going on the I five. So then we need to get the voltages from point A to point C, right? Point A to point C, that is V five, and it also equal to voltage V one two three four, right? Point A to point six, V five equal to V one two three four, equal to the current I one two three four five times R one two three four five. There, right? There, agree? So now you get it as a five epsilon divided by thirteen. Now you can see. You get a voltage from point A to point C, so you can get the current I five as V five over R five. There, and you get a current for the V one two three four over R one two three four at there, right? So now you keep going with the R one two three four. So this is series connection for the from point A to C. From point A to C, so that means I four equal to I one two three equal to I one two three four. This is a series connection equal to three epsilon over thirteen R, right? Now we look at the from the point A to point B. From the point A to point B, you can see this is the parallel connection, right? So. V one two five V one two three equal to current I one two three times R one two three equal to this one two epsilon over thirteen, and this just equal to V two equal to V one two right equal to, because this is a uh, two branches do parallel connection so V three equal to V one two equal to V one two three equal to two epsilon over thirteen. 
Now we come to there. We can get the current for these branches. So I one equal to I two series connection equal to the V I two, and then equal to V one two over R one two. Get it there, and I three equal to V three over R three. There, agree? It looks difficult, and then we can simplify it. After we simplify it. And input all the given quantities. You get the answer there. So this is a current for each resistors. And also, it asks us to find the potential difference between point A and point B. So point A and point B. That is the voltage V three, right? We get it in previous slides there. V three at there. So it is two epsilon over thirteen. So that is one point eight five volts. Thank you.